My name is Lucy Ramirez and I'm the Hilo High School Community Council Chair and now the 2019 class president. I am currently 17. But when I first got involved with leadership, I was 15 years old. When you think about students that age, leadership is not the first thing that comes to mind. Being born on the mainland, then moving to Hawaii, I felt out of place. But as I attended Kilkaw Elementary School, they impressed upon me that Hawaii is not just my new home, but my ohana. Learning that my community is also my family helped me to define my sense of place. Leadership and culture mixed produce great results, but I did not add my voice to the conversation. I did not get involved. Fast forward years into the future during my sophomore year at Hilo High School, my voice was ready to be heard. I was appointed to be the school community council representative, then elected to be the chairperson. People voted against me, but I did not let that get me down. I understood now why student voices are so important. If we come together and have an opportunity to work out problems with the highest level of authority at the school, we can actually make a difference. The school wants to help us out. They want to solve problems. And the best people to make those issues known are the students. They will tell you how clean the restrooms are. They will tell you if they have problems with teachers. We are the ones learning and we want to have the best high school experience. It is our right. There are two important parts of getting a good education, environment and academics. You may have the best teacher teaching the best subject, but if the classroom environment is not fit for learning, it may be difficult to fully take in the instruction. Students and parents can have discussions in committees, but action can only be taken if administrators take risks and let students and parents express their voice. These voices contribute to school design and in turn expresses how it will affect students. Students have to like being here. We can't have the students say they won't use the bathroom at school because it is unsanitary. If students report mold growing in classrooms or if steps are slippery, it's too late. Students have concerns and needs, but it doesn't matter if their voices are not heard. At our previous school community council meeting, we addressed these concerns of health, wellness, safety, and sanitation. This was important because we finally proved how powerful student voices are in making positive changes for our school. I love Hilo High, and I believe that now is the time to let my voice be heard. But as a leader, I must also listen, because everyone's voice is important, but you can only bring about change when you listen.